Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rookie Balboa run. It is round number 11. I don't know if it's 12 or 15 rounds, but we're kind of hanging in the ropes and we're being pushed in the face over and over and over. But we gotta take it and the next one is going to be Operation Witch Claw, another hit to the chin. Um, let's hope we get our defenses up in time as we are trying to rescue an engineer, Dr. Jarny Arts. And this time we're going to go in with a top team here, Roby and Divad. Nice little war suits for both of them, uh, including uh, the good old blue screen rounds. And we got two Mimic Beacons as well as, uh, yeah, the, the option to... Uh, to take high ground on both of the others. I got the bolt caster and I realized I hadn't fully upgraded it. So this weapon now isn't that bad um, for what we're trying to do. This is a uh, 11 to 13 points of damage, which is quite cool. Uh, so the actual damage is good. It's just not really great on those missions where you have to move a lot. However, good news here is with the Archon suit, we don't need to move as much because we can fly into new positions, which is at least my theory. We're going to try how much time uh, it's going to cost us uh, to, to reload and so on and so forth. This is a troublesome situation and I desperately hope we can go through the, uh, the missions without a lot of problems. Uh, the tech just barely keeps up. But we haven't really had to fight a sector pod or a gatekeeper yet like not toe to toe so stay tuned and see how the mission uh, turns out good guess what we're landing and we're coming in hot teams are ready to go menace one five we have a confirmed location for the vip move to rendezvous eliminate all hostile contacts so we gotta free the VIP from from over here, and we gotta do that with uh, some sort of speed. This building here is good high ground, but it might be a trap. The moment that we get up here, there are many many angles where we could be where we could be uh, spotted out. So Divot takes the first yeah. move. And look at that, just barely avoided the disaster. Moving. Okay, we know this one here is safe. Roger that. Okay, so far so good. Roger that. Oh, I forgot we could nicely get up here without the ladder. That is great. Let's not let's not get carried away for now we're fine. Quelli non sono dei nostri. Aggressive move in the first round. That is good. Okay, I think we can all agree. that we shouldn't waste any time. A good chance to one-shot kill him. Might as well try to go for it, right? Let's go. 40%. Good, very good. He's taken out for now. The stun is 
effectively disabling the purifier. would we be able to do? Alright, I think we're just going to stand side by side here for the aim bonus. Trying to get that extra hit. Great. We can use one charge of teamwork. I will save the other one for a bit later. But as you can tell, I am quite keen on resolving this particular encounter. But we will do a Mimic Beacon play here. Unless, of course, this would be a hit. It's unfortunately not. Alright, this buys us time. Pulling them a little bit closer. And preventing him from casting shields. Okay, so far so good. Moving up. Does that pull another pack? It does. And the Berserker Queen is right off. Right behind. Right behind them. Starting to clean up the streets. Unfortunately, it just didn't work that well. Teamwork, okay. We could get a Mimic Beacon up here. But that would have removed all of our Mimic Beacons. Good, down. Perfect. Reloading. This is hopefully an explosion. The one time that you need an explosion, it is not happening. Okay. So it's either moving in, taking a shot, or we're using the second charge. Which I am in favor of doing. We gotta put um, items off the battlefield. And currently, the way to do that is just hit them, hit them really hard. Oh. I got nothing. That's lamentable. That prevented us from a stasis and loss of further uh, of further speed. We gotta work. Uh, we gotta work on this guy. Panic couldn't come at a worse time. I wanted to to use him 
unfortunately that's no longer feasible. We haven't seen any signs of the lost at all. Not yet. Reload, very important. How far does this... It's far enough to hit both of them if we play it right. On we cannot stand there, we need to spread out. Unfortunately, not far enough, just barely out of range. Which means this here is going to be the alternative. Okay, cool. The lost side, at least here. Let's mark them. Very good. Fifty fifty to essentially kill two for one unfortunately that didn't work out next turn we can however go, uh, get high ground and take it from there very difficult setup luckily he puts them in stasis and not us stupid mind tricks but both of them could and we could remove that we just need to walk next to him just destroyed the cover that's good love it Okay, now it's time for the Lost. They are close to Sectoids. Sectoids have melee vulnerability. Could they be useful? Well, they certainly are useful with the Andromedon. And they just killed the two for one. Great. Panic removed. And panic removed. All right, okie dokie. Moving up. We'll save our double shot for the Berserker Queen. All right, careful here. Very, very careful here. This hopefully doesn't trigger the Berserker Queen. Munition in esaurimento. 
Very good. Do we have free reloads? Superior hair trigger? No, we don't. Good. Well, next turn we will need to reload. But until then... Let's continue to put them into their grave. We got an autoloader here. That's great. Good. Hopefully we can hit them well. The answer is yes, we can. Moving up. 100%. If we play our cards right, this could be a kill. Nice. So the lost shell should still go for the priest. I do not want, I, in an optimal world, I would want to mark uh, the Bursa Queen, that would be fantastic. I do not want to overwatch here, so really what we're going to do is hunker down. These guys here should go for the Priest. And the Priest hopefully has more than enough to do with them. Yeah, Mind Control will A, automatically disappear. Because we're staying adjacent to our bond mate. And B, he will very likely be, uh, get smashed now. Ooh. He's no longer marked. Uh, it's a new unit for all intents and purposes. So the only unit that is remaining is the priest here. Reloading. 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 And after we've done that, what is really the status? Roby didn't have an auto loader. Moving to a better position. Let's be careful here. Again, moving to a better position and trying to not uh, trigger the Bursa Queen, really. Not immediately, at least. Okay. Let's kill this guy. Okay, so we got a few options here. I don't want to use the bolt caster if possible. Matter of fact, I would like to get the loot also if possible. took good care of uh, the of the Andromedon there and look I mean fortunately this here is the worst weapon uh, to to work with Hostile 
The losts are hard countering this weapon. Generally speaking, though, this was a successful turn. Losts might be coming closer to us, but I would expect we can get them down. So technically, we do have the autoloader here, right? Yes, superior autoloader. Great. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Not the best option. Let's use our bolt caster. For that, it actually makes sense because these big enemies, we can still use one turn in order to get them down. That checks out. Look, how do we how do we best go about this? Can't really get up there, right? We could jump over here. Barricade that entrance so that the loss down there isn't annoying us. Free reloading, just in case I need it. Overwatch here, Overwatch there. Okay. Overwatch here. And teleport to here. This should trigger. This is the shot we've been waiting for. Take that thing down before it has a chance to run. Looks like one of them came back for more. Let's make sure to take it out this time. Dangerous position. I think this here would be easier. And it's full cover. Moving. Ruler will approach, and I hope that this will trigger. Luckily, they shoot just as bad as we do. Unfortunately, I couldn't get get hold of uh, the loot. Five more turns.
Let's do two overwatches. We still have a free reload? Yeah. Okay, that's Overwatch and Overwatch. We put the Ultrasonic Lure into game and we'll leave him as is for the double shot. This might trigger another pack. That's a free shot. We'll get another one for free. Here we go, come on. Alright, another hit. Another hit. Very nice. She should go into summoning mode. The stun is not optimal. That is far from optimal. But we're okay overall. Okay, how do we get out of here in time is the question. Time to again hit the Berserk Queen. Good, gotta speed this up a bit. Now's a good time to reload. We're still in full cover here. This won't kill the faceless one, but well, it executes it. Good enough. I'm a bit concerned about the Overwatch. Because that might just lead into uh, into lightning reflexes, so let's spend the action now. And try to get our VIP out of here. VIP just runs away. Funnily enough, the VIP has one more hit point than our normal rookies do. He just doesn't wear armor.
Double move, okay, cool. Well, that is great. I appreciate it. That, on the other hand, is quite the opposite of great. Reinforcements. We got a motor. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Okay, theoretically, it almost jumped to the end, which gives us a unique option. To ignore most of this and just go ahead. How do we approach it? We need to get our fourth man back. That is not optional. Reinforcements soon are going to arrive. We have enough hit points to take a single shot. Two, four, six, eight, nine, yeah, ten. That's one hit from him. I like the full cover here. I mean, there is a chance that we one shot this guy. Unfortunately, not. Good, we're going as far away as possible to still see the Spectre. Two turns, not even sure. Not even sure if we would make it. From here, one turn, two turns, yeah, that might be enough. But we gotta move now. Oh, thank God. Roby, same, really the same problem. I do have an idea though. With a grappling hook we should be fine. T minus two, so on the last last turn the grappling hook comes up. We gotta deal with this. With this Andromedon, come on. Good. That solves at least this problem. Fantastic. The priest is a problem because uh, they can stasis. And this could very much be GG for us. 
I don't want to leave anyone behind. And Stasis, unfortunately, is not counterable. He moves in very aggressively. Would have been perfect if the priest would have just gone away as far as possible. Running. Running. Icarus suit so good. Reloading, this is going to be our insurance, the one overwatch that we can afford. And it's a good overwatch because it could stun. Moving all the way. That was a double move, because they are slowed. Maybe it was not a double move. Holy shit. That's a single move. Don't stasis, don't stasis. My control is okay. Should get him out of mind control immediately. Okay. Let's just get out of here. This is such oh, such drama. All of the movement abilities just to get to the zone. Wow. Just wow. Close. That was close. That was really close. I mean, look. We even got an upgrade on our bond for this particular mission. And how about we're going with a shadow chamber? Zero energy here. That's not bad. Thanks to the coil, it's free. And let's take a look. So we got 102 intel, right? Right. Uh, finishing the radio relay seems a good idea. <laughs> and then making contact. That will also give, a, give us tactical analysis. And technical analysis will give us the entire continent. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome. Breakthrough? Do we get one? It certainly no. is impressive looking, if nothing else. Plasma Lance. Sure I still want that breakthrough for plasma weapons. Eighty Intel. Oh, 
We don't have enough contacts. Good, good, good. We can change that. Commander, the factions have readied proposals for various covert missions. We should head to the ring to plan our next stop. That also frees up our second resistance order slot. Not that we have that great of resistance orders, but some of them are quite good. And now we got tactical analysis, which arguably is quite quiet good. Bomb squad could be helpful. Rapid collection could be helpful as well. Let's make our way. Ah, we can't. Not enough intel. Which... We could scan for intel, I suppose. That late in the game, it might even be better to scan for intel than to just uh, to actually scan for a strategic resource of intel. This could be 80, maybe 100 intel. Plasma blaster is unfortunately not what we were looking for. It deals a lot of damage, but that's about it. Fantastic. We just received more uh, negative traits that we need to cure. And we got some targets. So, undying loyalty. Per <laughs> no! Why? I why? I even Oh Lord. I said you know what? I would even do a protect the device mission. And now it is a very difficult one. Low profile, funnily enough, doesn't mean anything for us. What else? Hidden event. Yeah. I'll think about it. That's the best I can say at this point. The disappointment is real. The disappointment is real. Good. Brings us to the end of today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I appreciate your viewership. Leave a comment and a like down below. And we haven't, we still haven't fought against a uh, sector port or an, uh, a real eyeball. So far, we are. Uh, doomed or destined to find a uh, fight against the rulers and we're doing reasonably well i think the next time we can kill the uh, berserker queen and that would give us a fantastic suit if we could build the berserker suit that would indeed be great it's a good suit it's potentially the best for this run uh, short of uh, the archon suit which has proven to be incredibly helpful so that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.